A few weeks ago I spoke to Brad Martin about the ignition timing and the firing of the spark plugs in the Merlin engine. I realised while well, they have two spark plugs because if one went down yep. they've still got another one to get them out of trouble and perhaps back home. What I meant to say was two spark plugs per cylinder. But I didn't know, yeah. I wanted to know whether both spark plugs fired at the same time. I know they use separate magnetos because Brad has said in the past when they're doing a test they'll switch one off when they're running it at 2000 or 3000 revs to see the drop of power. I also found out later that the first plug fires at 48 degrees before top dead centre and the second plug seven degrees later at 38 degrees before top dead centre. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I spoke to Brad and then I spoke to Martin. I might get it wrong. So you switch one of the magnetos off and you get a drop in power. Yeah. Why is that? Well, because you've got two sparks and they're yeah. seven degrees off. So your inlet is seven degrees before your exhaust. Yeah. Which I found was the optimum spacing. Um, so... And you, it's it, just because you, if you're you, you get a slightly less even burn on one plug. Yeah. So oh. on the first, the one what is just before top dead centre, is that more powerful than the one which is seven degrees slower? Can you I, tell the difference? I don't know. But you do get more power with both sparks firing. With both on, yeah. But you get an equal drop if one of them is off. Yeah. So I don't quite understand why. I thought one spark would, you know, explode a lot. So obviously you, it doesn't. You can, get, you can get almost full power on one magneto. Yeah. And there is actually a check that you do. You have to get, you have to take it to full power and then switch one mag off and check your drop. Yeah. Um, but you get a, a reduction of a, a, your limit for rolls is 125 and I think Packard's 150. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the actual power is, is negligible. Yeah. But it I just see. makes a more even burn within the cylinder with both of them on. Yeah. So it's more efficient. Yeah. Oh. And obviously you've got redundancy if one mag goes down. Yeah, you've still, you've still got yeah. Door. And you say between the two is seven degrees. Seven degrees. I think it's seven degrees. Yeah, yeah I'd have to get the book to check. But yeah. yeah. It's seven degrees. Good. Thanks, Brad. All right. Another little gem. <laughs> Thank you. I'll let you. And you can't adjust them though. You can. Oh yeah, you can get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I meant when you're in the cockpit, you can't adjust. No, it. there's no adjustment from no. the cockpit side. No. no. And once the engine's running, it's set oh, at that. Right. Yeah, there's an advanced retard unit built into each of the magnetos. Yeah. So it, it does its thing. Yeah. But the actual base timing of each mag yeah. is set according to the timing disc that's through that little um, plug here. This one here. And there's, a, there's a timing disc behind it that you can see. Yeah. Yeah. And then you rotate the engine to the appropriate position. And if you've got the magic box attached to the magneto, it will start the bleeper off. Or if you've got the other type of box, the bleeper goes off. Either way, oh, it tells you when yeah. the point's open. Yeah. The point's opening is when it will fire. Yeah. Um, and basically you have to time the mag up to line up with the, the, the inlet mag timing mark on that disc or the exhaust mag. Yeah. But there is a slight offset yeah. in the actual timing. If you're looking at degrees before top dead centre when it fires, yeah. there is a slight difference. It fires on top dead centre? No, 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 it fires before. Before? Yes, well it has to. If you think about it logically, if it fired at top dead centre level, what would happen is you'd start the flame travel across the engine because you've just ignited the fuel and air mixture. But while all that's going on, that engine's running. Yeah. So the piss is actually starting to go down and you've only just lit the fire. Yeah, so okay, you actually energy. want to light the fire so that when it starts to go properly, you're then putting the maximum amount of effort into pushing the piston down. Yeah. So you have to time the firing of the spark plug to coincide with when that flame will get going enough yeah. To then have the maximum effect yeah. on pushing the piston down. So it's just before top dead centre. Just before, then. and this is where timings are critical because if the ignition timing's late, as it's known, then you don't get the maximum effect. So yeah. the engine's horsepower is reduced, its yeah. efficiency is reduced. If you go early, pre-ignition can occur. The old thing that old car drivers used to call pinking, yeah. which you won't hear in an, in an aero engine until it, unfortunately, it's not very well. Yeah. Um, 
Either way, that can cause damage to the engine, but it certainly causes a reduction in performance. So ignition time is critical. But the reason for the difference is the spark plug on the exhaust side of the engine and the spark plug on the inlet side of the engine are directly opposite each other across the cylinder. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. But the flame travel across is slightly different because of the gas flow, because the valves are sat vertical, but the inlet valves are on the inside of the engine, the exhaust valves are on the outside. So when the, the, the fuel air mixtures are constantly moving, yeah. okay, and when it comes in and you fire the spark plug, if you have to work on the premise that one of the magnetos might not be working, that's why you have two. Yeah. So if one fails, you run on the other one. The timing of where you want the spark plug to fire on the inlet side is slightly different from where it would be if the plug's on the exhaust side. That's why they're different. They're just a little bit later. It's with... only, only a fraction different. I can't yeah. remember the exact figures yeah. without looking it up in the book. Yeah. But there's a small difference in the overall timing between yeah. the two. The advanced retard mechanism in the magnetos for the curve, yeah. okay, is, is, is pretty much the same. Yeah. But it's just the base time and it's a fraction different. Thank you. You've lost the will to live now, haven't you, Neville? No, no, I'm very interested. I, th I was in bed the other night thinking, if there is a difference between the two sparks, you know. There is. Yeah. It's, not, it's not much, but it's oh, there. And what, and what is the actual reason you'd, um, that there is a difference? It's because of the location of the spark plug in the cylinder head. I okay, see. they're on opposite sides. Yeah. So, because of that, because of the gas flow across the engine when it's running, oh, I see. Dum, the dum, demand, yeah. the, because obviously you've got the inlet spark plugs next to the inlet valves, the yeah. exhaust spark plugs next to the exhaust valve. But the gas comes in that way and goes out that way yeah. because of that flow which is constantly moving even when the, the cylinder's going down you have what's called valve overlap where both sets of valves are open together this scavenges the cylinder to pull out the burnt yeah. gases and chuck yeah. them out through the exhaust yeah. right which is why it's so exhaust it, important the exhaust system's well designed as well yeah. that, that motion means that the, the demands from the spark plugs on the other side of the engine are different if you want to make it the same you put them in the middle yeah. But the problem yeah. with that is that doesn't work on a, on a lot of engine designs because of the physical location, particularly when you've got to have two spark plugs That's for an aero right. engine. Because yes, yeah. by, by, by law and regulation, you have to have dual ignition systems on all aero engines. Yeah. That's been, that's been the case for a very long time. Yeah. Obviously, you know, if, if, if the old contact breaker system on your old Ford Escort or your Mini contact, you ended up at the side of the M1, it was inconvenient. Yeah. If one of those stops in mid-air, it's a little more than inconvenient. Yeah. I must carry on, sir. Yeah, thank you, Martin. No worries. Yeah.